Incremental Greetings. Today I want to share something that I think it's more, it's more to feed your curiosity than actually a feature you, you're going to use. So you know that in Super Memo, you can actually request your forgetting index, which by default it's set to 10, which roughly speaking equals to 95% retention rate. Not 90%, 95 which, uh, strictly speaking, it's 94.91%, I think. The sum is not necessarily necessarily 100%. But you also know that this is the default. You can request this per element basis. So here there is a column, FI, for getting index. In some I have 10, which is the default value, and in some others I have DEF, DEF, for short for default. You may think, well, what's the difference if the default is 10? What's the difference if I have any of them? There is, not now, but there will be open a change. You see 10 and default. Cool. Let me go again to the options. And O6, by the way. So now the default points to number 6. So if I open again my items, what is this? Let me select one. Says default, but now forgetting index is 6%. So I have changed all of the items that are pointing the default. But what happened? That some didn't uh, point to the default. They have a value like 10 or 7. So this isn't affected. What's the difference is that instead of having a hard-coded value, they are pointing to the default. Whatever the default of the collection is, use that. So now happens that they have different. So all of those are untouched because they had 10, ta da 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 And hey, those are default. And there's yet another detail. What happens if I create a card? Let's do that. Let's say that they create an element, an item, by close relation. So by default, it will have 10%. Are you sure that's the default or it's 10? Forgetting index is actually 10. It's not using my default. Let's make it more obvious. Oh, well, it's already 6. It's not my default. How is that even possible? How, how this uh, behaves? Let's, let's get the concept. It's a... Uh, import concept. I can only have default priority, not default forgetting index. So how come this element is hard-coded to 10? We can actually see it in the browser view. And indeed, it's 10. It's not pointing to the default. But if I create an, an element, an item, right away, like this. What's going to happen? Ba 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 boom! It's using the default of the collection. 6% in this case. As a reminder, it's 6. Now I will change it to 4%. Uh, what happened here? It's 6%. Still. Let me check if it's just a UI that is not being updated. And it's 6. So ironically, it doesn't update. That means that when you create an element, in this case an item, with this as a standalone without close relation, it will set the value, the forgetting index of what's currently the default on your settings in that collection. But it won't be set as default. It will have that value hard coded. So if I change that value as I did, I change it to 4%, it's being ignored. It's still 6. But only that. If I do an item, what happens now? Hey, look at that. The topic, a topic in Super Memo has a forgetting index. That, why? Why a topic has a forgetting index? Should only all items have forgetting index, right? I don't actively recall, I don't grade topics when I repeat them. It's setting the default. In this case, it, in this case, it's four. 
That means that when I do a close deletion on a topic, the item that is created will inherit that forgetting index from the topic. In this case, 4%. Let's double check and A. That's the wrong assumption. Look here. The forgotten index says default. So actually, it's not, it's not inheriting the value from the topic. It's inheriting the status of being the default. That means that if I change now the default forgotten index to 20, let me refresh. The topic now has 20% because it says default equals 20. It's more explicit. But for whatever reason, when it's an item, it doesn't say default equals. It just say 20%. And the only way you can double check that, or at least that I am aware of, is by opening the element in the browser. And you will have the default. So that is interest interesting. So most people won't have a uh, effect of this because they will always use the default and never change it. All the collection will be using 10% regardless. But if you happen that you want to customize this or you have changed in the collection, keep this difference in mind. So what we have seen so far is that how you create the item makes a difference of the forgetting index it will have. And this will have a consequence in the next interval because the higher the forgetting index, the higher the intervals will be. So how you create the item makes a difference, by close deletion or by topic. Then when you set, you can set the default here in the tooltip tool options, or you can also set it in bulk. In bulk. For instance, I can open all of the people here. And you know what? I will change it. Forget it index. I can set whatever I want, or I can default to the default. So now all of the forgetting index here says default. Let's go extra mile. There's one criterion for filtering that is the forgetting index. So that's especially useful. Let's say that now my objective is to have everything at 10. So I will say from 11 to 20, which is the maximum. For simplicity, I will only have items. So I have more than 4,000 elements with higher, but hey, what happens? Is it default? How is that even possible? Almost no one has a hard-coded forgetted index. Ah, oh, yeah, some of the, okay. Some have 13. The other ones only have default. So I open a subset, and now what I will do is apply the default forgetting index. And voila, now to default. Now that means I only need to do one thing, change the default to 10%. And now the filter should be empty. Return an empty list. Cool. And perhaps that does it's not your case that you do items like this manually, but could be for people who don't import, especially users who keep using Super Memo 18, that they will be doing new topics or the new note. That is just uh, the difference is that one is a, a blank page and the other one will paste the contents from the clipboard. Regardless of that, remember this. The forgetting index. It's set to the value of the default, not the default. That means that if you could keep using this flow of new note every time, if one day you want to change the forgetting index, you will be changing the default. Therefore, whatever new, new elements you add will be affected. But the entire collection that has been used like this will be untouched, will be kept at 10, because it's hard-coded at 10, not the default, even if the default is 10, for whatever reason. Super Memo works 
this way. So just to verify, here I create an element. I open this in the browser and say as default, not 10. So as I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, good to know a curious case that one of the many features in Super Memo that is not intuitive and why it's built like that, but could have an impact in case you ever touch the default forgetting index. Hope this has been useful and see you incrementally.